Hello and welcome you crazy people. My name is Jay and in this video I want to talk about the marketing and the crossover between FSG and Atomic Mass games for uh, well Star Wars Legions particularly but maybe the other Star Wars games. But I don't I don't think it's good at the moment and I think they possibly have had enough time to at least corrected some of it. Now maybe there's some internal wrangling but I don't know. Let's just get this out of the way though. Every product that is pretty much being made and released this year will have been made by FFG. There might be a bit of crossover at the end of the year they said between an FFG product and AMG product but let's just presume 2021 it's all FFG even though it went to Atomic Mass Games in December. These things have like a very long leeway. They have a long production cycle of at least over a year pretty much. So I can only really talk about marketing. Now I think marketing wise Atomic Mass Games for Marvel for example were doing a great job of building a community and letting the game sort of grow organically. Now with Star Wars Legion it's perhaps a little bit differently because there's this little cross between um, Atomic Mass Games and Fancy Flight Games at the moment. So let me let me show you what I mean. Like if you go on, sorry I'm actually, I'm actually meant to be on the main website. If you go on the Atomic Mass Games website right now, you'll see, well you see the mini extravaganza which happened over a month ago now, because <laughs> we're all, it's April 24th today, and you see everything else is Marvel. You can click the little top right buttony thing and see what well, you can't see because it's off the screen, but there's some Star Wars stuff if you, if you go off the screen. Now saying that, uh, these are the, you know, you get your Star Wars organized play questions and rules questions and stuff like that, right? The blog itself is all, there's a blog, but it's all Marvel. You go on FFG's website and you can see, I think this was the last article, which was March 25th, right? So the the articles are still getting posted on FFG, <laughs> which there may be like a legal reason for that. Maybe it's because they made it that they have to promote it like that. If that's the case, then that's sad <laughs> because I'm not really sure that this combination of like um, Atomic Mass Games not having anything on their website and being able to but they tweet about certain leaks and they stream them painting it and they also did the stream of the mini extravaganza I feel like it's hurting the game uh, that's what I don't like about it I feel like I wouldn't, it wouldn't be, it's not a problem like the game doesn't change and the information doesn't necessarily change but I feel like it's actually the marketing is actually possibly going to hurt the game because right now I think would be a great time to build hype. Now I'm not sure Atomic Mass Games are doing a great job of building hype now maybe their hands are tied maybe as I said maybe they don't have the choice but I, I, I really like the streams no interest in watching them myself <laughs> but I like that they're doing them. Um, I don't, I'm not on a personal note, and I think maybe like other YouTubers would share my opinion on this. It's not ideal to have uh, like leaks like in a tweet. Now, I'm not actually sure if there's anything leaked that wasn't released here. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not, I am not. I never checked this before, but they have unorthodox. Yeah, I think there is. I think some of this stuff here is new. It's not ideal to have, um, to have it sort of dripped out piecemeal for a YouTube video. You sort of want like something hype to talk about rather than like oh, I want to talk about one card I'm not, not I'm not going to turn on my camera and make a video to talk about a couple a handful of cards <laughs> I just don't want to do that maybe, some people will maybe that's the audience that they want to cater to but for me that's not something I'm going to do now um so for me then ideally they're not treat they're not they're not doing something that's ideal for me but I'm not that's by the by they don't have to right? if, if the marketing works then that's fine um, I would I wouldn't be complaining. I'm only complaining because I'm not sure that the marketing is working at the moment. I feel like that there could be much more hype. No, they obviously had the leaks from Lion Rampant, which let's not blame uh, Atomic Mass Games for at the moment. If it keeps happening, then we will obviously. I think we could possibly start uh, apportioning some sort of blame. But that's obviously Asmodee's distribution company who's uh, who's the cause of that. It was a shame because they had lots of leaks for everything they were going to talk about on their stream. But I don't think the stream and the way that they'd released the information would have built as much hype anyway. Like, I don't feel like it would have done. Um, I feel like it was it would have been slightly subpar when you compare it to the way that Games Workshop do things. Um, I, see, and it's very difficult to compare because on the face of it, they look pretty similar. Games Workshop do live streams where they've been doing their announcements and then they do an article. And it's like, well, Atomic Mass Games are doing the same kind of thing, but it's not, it's not, it's not popping like the way that um, Games Workshop do. And I think it's probably due to them slowly leaking information across the line. It should sort of feel like 
and I've been talking about this for years. It should talk. It should be more like you talk about a product a month before it gets released, and that's it, right? And you should you keep the hype on the next thing. Like Games Workshop, I'm talking about Age of Sigma coming out in the summer this year. Not yet, anyway. Even though everybody pretty much knows it's true, Games Workshop aren't going to really mention it because they want to keep they want to keep you hyped on the things that you can't currently buy because of all out, they're all having production issues. But they want to keep you hyped on the stuff that you that's like now it's coming out now hyped on this like the stuff coming out now for um, Star Wars Legion. But I know what's coming out in like six months time, and it's like hmm, maybe I just wait and buy this thing that's coming out in six months time. It it just dulls down the hype a little bit. And um, I don't know, I, I don't know if I can even blame Atomic Mass Games for this because yes, they've had four to five months, but maybe their hands are tied. Maybe they are limited by what they can achieve because all these articles are still going on to the FFG website. I think it's a little bit silly to, to have the articles going on the FFG website. I mean, as I said, maybe legally that has to be the case or what have you, but surely Asmodee as a controlling company can just sort that out. Um, it's weird that they've still got the mini extravaganza on their website, <laughs> but that's by the by, it's just a, a mess up somewhere along the lines. Or maybe it's intentional, but I feel like that's something you should probably remove. I just, I, I'm just concerned that they are very community focused. The streams are community focused. The way they release the information is very community focused. And I feel like you might run the risk of not building hype. And if you don't build hype, a game won't grow. Now, is that true? The games are actually doing relatively well, as far as I can tell. They're like generally in the top five sellers. Um, I think Legion and X-Wing are they're all very comparable to Age of Sigma and stuff like that. So am, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I don't think I'm wrong in the sense that it could always be better. Um, and maybe the way that I'm saying it should be better is wrong because what am I even saying? I'm saying what <laughs> take the stuff off FFG's website, put it on Atomic Mass Games website. And I'm saying perhaps try to not release your information too early, whether or not it's leaked or not. Obviously, that's a problem. But the mini extravaganza, they would have announced stuff for the next six months. And I just don't think that's right. I think you should only do your big announcements at conventions, not your standard releases. I know many extravaganza online is not exactly a big convention, but you know what I mean? Um, I feel like we, I feel like with Star Wars Legion and all these games, generally if you go to a convention they do a big announcement. It's just the stuff that they're releasing normally, whereas they should be the stuff like new additions, complete change to the games. That's what they should be. And like your actual releases could be on a live stream and you say what's coming out maybe this month and next month or even just this month. No, you do this month and next month. Uh, and you do one a month <laughs> and for the next month for the one that's coming out this month then you release the card and for the next month that's when you announce it two months from then that'd be that'd be fine I, i'm rambling a little bit i just feel like it could be better and i hope it does get better and i hope the 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 what we're seeing right now is more because their hands are tied and they don't have any other option that's what i hope bit of a rambly video it's difficult to really talk about the game at the minute because i've not played i've not played for over a year now i've not played in ages um, I, I am scheduled for a tournament next next month, which is going to be interesting because there will all be people who don't know how to play. <laughs> It'll be like when the game first came out again, except that there's actually a shed ton of rules to learn. Have a most beautiful day. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.